I'm Brady Nathan. I am the co-founder of MyWorkButterfly.com and we are in Livingston, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Terry <laughs> Starr, the other half of MyWorkButterfly.com. MyWorkButterfly.com is a global social network uh, which is dedicated to helping moms return to the workforce and also the working mom who tries to figure it out every single day. Brady represents uh, the brand of, uh, part of our brand of the mom who returned to the workforce and I represent the, the brand of the mom who never left after uh, now 30 years um, in the workforce. The most bizarre thing, and I'll, I'll tell you actually how we met, is that we actually had boys the same age in the same school, yet we did not even know one another existed. And you have to know the school is not big. <laughs> so the fact that we didn't even know each other was really bizarre. But as I was on my way out, and I think sort of Terry tells this part of the story a little better than yes, me. Yeah, so you know, it's something I'll probably never forget, which is literally that we said our, our niceties and our goodbyes, and Brady pulls this book out of her Borders book bag, and she says, I bought this book on online marketing. I wonder if it's any good. And I go, well, that's really weird. I go, that's what I do for a living. And she said, you, you do? Do you have a card? And literally the next day, I'm on my way to work. I'm driving to work. It's not even, you know, nine o'clock in the morning. Phone rings. It's Brady. And she's like, I have this idea. I haven't even said it out loud. I haven't even told my husband yet. And you might think I'm crazy, but I'm thinking that there should be this website to help moms get back to the workforce. And I'm like... Do you have any idea what I do for a living? I have spent like almost 30 years of my career in HR communications and recruitment marketing. And it was just this crazy uncanniness that, you know, as, as we say, a twist of fate that brought up the two of us together. And literally we met that, that same day, met for three hours and never looked back. I mean, off we went. We really, when I tell you, worked 24 hours a day. We held focus groups. Um, we pushed out a national mom survey, which is now almost up to 18, uh, 800 moms, excuse me, across the country, to really learn more about um, what was preventing them from returning to work, what obstacles they faced, uh, what they were looking for from an employer. And from that data, we develop, then developed the website together. So everything on the site is very deliberate. It's nothing was done haphazardly. And I think um, that's one of the reasons why it's been so well received is because we we right. gave them. We're both what, in advertising, so we you know knew that research was was king, and we did our homework. So you weren't the return to work mom at the time. Right. I was the one who left advertising, spent eight years at home with my kids, and I knew there needed to be a place for moms that were like me who still wanted to achieve professional aspirations in addition to personal aspirations doesn't mean that we don't love our kids it's just that we were put on this earth to do something more than very often just be mothers or, or wives and I, I mean for me that's what drives me I, I want to empower more women so they, they believe that you know what I can do and I can have both we know that we've already made a difference in thousands of women's lives and to know that somebody could come into our community and ask for advice or support and know that, you know, whether we're providing the expert advice or we have the community, a safe haven for these moms to come and communicate and feel that they're not alone and that somebody who came before them can give them some sort of guidance or provide, mm -hmm. you know, a solution that they hadn't thought of that is standing in their way, fulfilling their dream. Well, you know, the paycheck, doesn't quite equate to all that positive, um, I guess, giving back that is part of what we're, we're doing with My Work Butterfly, so. I want other women to know that they're not alone. And very often women feel very isolated. Um, you know, they're trying to juggle the baby and returning to work. And when they sign onto the site, we ask them to tell us a little bit about themselves. And with that little piece of information, we can then direct them to specific areas of the site that's going to most benefit them. So if we know that they are sort of at their wit's end and they can't, you know, handle anymore, they're pressed up against the wall, we say, you know what, it's time to speak to our psychotherapist. And we have her there from that mom survey and we, that we know that they're dealing with fear and guilt. So 
you know, just to have access to therapy 24 hours a day and have it be very um, confidential and one-on-one -on -one is, is invaluable. The career counselor, it's sort of how do I deal with a gap in my resume? These women don't believe that they, they're worth anything anymore having been out of the workforce for so many years. They have to know that they have transferable skills, that they might manage their home, they might have volunteer, they might have been on PTA. I mean, they do sort of have their, their toe in it still, but they need the confidence. I think we help them gain that confidence and move on to then hopefully scour our national job board, which actually has over 10,000 postings on it, to find a job and also reach out to one another for employment. I mean, people think we're crazy. When someone signs on, onto the site and, and we had a huge promotion going on right now with Nick Lachey to benefit VH1 Save the Music, so we had probably 200 members just join this week. But we literally welcome every single person onto that site with a personal message and everyone says, why don't you make it automated? But you know what, we are, you know, as long as we can still add that personal touch, the notes that we get back from other women saying, I've never joined a social networking site where someone actually sends me a personalized note. I mean, we go in when it says it's their birthday, we wish them a happy birthday, have a great day, because they, moms matter. Right. Right. And I and the response and it does make a difference and you know we don't have to be automated even though we're global we had a woman sign on from Kuwait we'll welcome her the same way we would as a woman from the name a neighboring town. This was from the National mm -hmm. Mom Survey. We asked our moms, um, as Brady said, almost eight hundred of them, what was the biggest obstacle that you face in returning back to the workforce. And the number one uh, answer was guilt. So we knew we had to have a psychotherapist in our site. And so we sought out our psychotherapist, Julie Potishman, um, and our career coach as well, which is Julie Cohen. And they're both accessible on our site 24-7. Now, if the members want to take it one step further and have more counseling or more advice, then they would work that out, obviously, um, with the excerpt, expert. But all of our um, resources are headed up by moms who are experts in the field, which is also very nice. Because we've had several men say, oh, well, I'd love to contribute right. to the health and, and fitness we're like, section. Uh, we're like, mm, sorry. All the resources in our site are free. I'm definitely a mom of any age. We actually have a group called Grandmoms, um, mm -hmm. who's, who's in our site. You know, I think at the end of the day, a mom's a mom's a mom. We sort of all face the same challenges. So yes, some have um, little children to take care of, but others have um, elder parents to take care of. So we also speak to that sort of sandwich generation. Um, we're very conscious of, of all ages. We do have the mom that comes onto the site who is, you know, maybe an 18 year old who just didn't, had the baby, you know, just had a baby who obviously didn't plan mm -hmm. for this. Um, and she needs as much help very often as the mom who's now an empty nester and feels as if, what now? So we say, you know what, don't wait till your kids go out for college to figure out what you want to be with the rest of your life or what you want to do with the rest of your life. Yeah, and the other uh, interesting thing that we didn't expect, but then when it happened, we went, oh, of course, uh, is that one of the largest uh, segment of the, the mom market in our site is the single mom. And if you think about it, it all makes sense, but it's not something we expected. And um, interestingly, we thought about it enough to create a group when we launched called Single Moms. And it's probably the third biggest mm -hmm. group in our community. Uh, the work, work at home mom is the largest group. Um, the entrepreneur and then followed by single moms. Yeah, I would say to women, you know, you're not alone. You don't have to go at this by yourself. There are jobs to be had. There are resources to be had. Stop making excuses, <laughs> um, get over the guilt, get over the fear, just push through it. I had to do it myself, so I totally understand where many women are at who come to the site because I, again, am the return to work mom. And I would just say, as a mom who never left the workforce, that I do think it's possible to have it all. And it may not be perfect every single day. And we know that some days are better than others. <laughs> But it is possible to have it all and that, you know, you should, as, as we coined the idea of the butterfly, that you should be free to reach really, you know, every dream that you have in terms of fulfilling yourself personally.